Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to try and make some cards and I'm just trying to use up some scraps from this six by six paper pad I have called Good Day Sunshine. I just finished using it for an album, but I have a bunch of these scraps and I still have two of these full size sheets that just look like this. Um, so I thought we would try and make some cards. Now I do have some sticker sheets and I always keep my sticker sheets um, to use, you know, on cards or whatever. And I have, I think one from this collection, but I also have a bunch of other summer stickers in my stash that I haven't finished using yet. So I've got this and we're just kind of kind of see what I can make. Like this is from this collection specifically. But we're gonna see what I can make. Like maybe we could put some of those stickers and then I have some like word stickers down here from this summer farmhouse one um, because I don't think the pinks really go. Um, but some of these bold colors um, can go with this um, collection. So I think these four, not these three. These are pinks and pastels and they don't really go with this collection, but. I think these we can make work. So I thought we would just try and make some cards and see what we come up with. So I have some card bases here. I have six card bases. I don't know how many cards I will get to make. And this piece is too big. I gotta recut that. So it's supposed to be four and one eighth for my layering piece by five and three eighths. All right, so four and one eighth by five and three eighths for my layering piece. My card base measures um, five and a half by four and a quarter. But if you are need to have the measurement before it's scored, it would be five and a half by eight and a half and you would score at four and a quarter. So that's how I got my card base. I don't know if I'm gonna do landscape or portrait style yet, but here we go. So I'm gonna move this off to the side just a little bit so that we can try and actually, you know what? Maybe we can just kind of glue on here. So we'll see what we come up with. Okay, Um. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I should probably start with like those full size sheets, but like, I don't know what to do with these. Um, you know, let's, let's try and make a card base out of this. So if this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths, I'm gonna cut this down to four inches by five and a quarter. All right, so I should have something that goes on top of there and oh I also forgot to mention I do have some blue scraps for layering kind of pieces that I can add on here um, I'm trying to see what scraps I got this watermelon is cute oh so is this popsicle very very colorful but, oh, you know what? Maybe we could use, yeah, let's use this blue. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take a layering piece of cardstock and this thing measures about an inch. So I'm gonna cut this down to one and one eighth. by five and three eighths. No, what am I doing? If I, well done. One and one eighth by this height. So that's four inches actually. This one's gonna be a um, landscape style card. 
What am I doing? Oh, that should have been four and one eighth inches. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. So one and one eighth by four and one eighth is what you want. Okay, there we go. And then this I'm gonna cut down to four inches. All right. So a lot of the time when I make these cards, I like to use my ATG tape. However, for these small pieces, I also like to use some wet glue. So that's what I am doing here and yep okay I should get my bone folder in here today I just keep using my uh, keep losing rather my bone folders I had like three on my desk I just found but like when I was crafting I couldn't find any of them and I just kept pulling out another one um, so here's my ATG tape I'm gonna put this onto my blue layering piece of cardstock so this is just gonna go onto here Okay, so I'm thinking that's gonna go like that, um, but I feel like I need another pattern and we definitely need to pick out our sentiment or like card design. Um, I like this cute little camper. Um, I don't really know what I would put with it. Uh, what does this one say? This one says happy camper. I like, I like this one. I just don't know what word sticker I would use with it. Um, but I think another, I need another uh, kind of layering piece here. So now I want something a little bit bigger. And Oh, look, we got a little camper. <laughs> uh, but I think that's a little, that's a little much. This one might be okay. So I'm thinking this one could go underneath up until like here and I'm just going to cut that. All right, so this guy measures like one and a half. Yeah, a little bit more than one and a half by one, two, three and three quarters. And let's put him down onto here. Let's see. So, kind of thinking 
maybe something like this. Hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. I think I like this underneath here. All right, I think we are gonna glue that down. And you know, not all of these cards that I make, I'm going to love. You guys have to realize that when you're making scrap cards, you're not gonna love all of them because you don't get to use all of the patterns. Like you would have already used a lot of the patterns that you love. Um, and now you just kind of got to work with what you have left. So, I mean, I do like a lot of them that I end up making and I think it's awesome that you can make something with scraps that you're just otherwise would have thrown out. I think that's awesome. But just know that like, Sometimes you're not going to love all of them. All right, so up here, I'm adding in some layers because we added in those two layers. And so I need this kind of to be even with that. So I just cut up some scrap um, cardstock. yeah, I get to use up my scrap cardstock. I get to use my scrap stickers and we get to make a cute little project. Okay, so now I can glue this down. If you have any overhang, you could just chop it off. Um, and then I wanted this cute little camper to go right here. But again, I do need some scrap layers of cardstock. So this is probably gonna go like right here. I need something down here. And my scrap layers aren't perfect. I just need that added kind of height. And that's gonna work out just great. So now I'm gonna add glue to this guy. Oh, how cute is that? 
and I do need some kind of a sentiment. So I'm kind of thinking this happy place sticker or summer of love. Um, I really like the grillin' and chillin', but at the same time, I feel like the grillin' and chillin' might go better with, um, I have this other sticker, um, in here that has a grill. I don't know, <laughs> but I really like, I like the grim, grillin' and chillin'. Maybe we'll just use it anyway. All right, so that's the card that we just made, and I'm gonna attach that to my card base, and then we can go back and add enamel dots. And in case you guys are wondering, I am gonna have these cards listed in my Etsy shop, when I do these kind of scrap card videos, I usually list them as a set. So if you guys are interested, you can get your hands on them. Isn't that so cute? And I think for this one, I would like some red enamel dots. Let's get some up here. Okay, so there is card number one. And you could obviously go back and add in some decoration on the inside as well. I might just add in some stickers later on, but for now, this is card number one with my cute little enamel dots and everything. All right, guys, moving on to card number two. I've got another um, blue base here and I really like this kind of watermelon paper. So let's see if we can make something with that. You know what, guys? Hold on. I'm gonna do something else first. Um, all right, so this measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Um, I'm gonna cut one down to, uh, trying to see how to do this. Mm. You know what? Let's add some, maybe should we add some red? No, maybe we should add in another, a white layer. Hold on a second, guys. All right, I have a white scrap here and I'm gonna cut this down to be five and a quarter by four, okay? So that should be a layer on top of that blue layer. All right, and what I'm gonna do with this piece first, 
Um, I'm just going to paper piece some of these kind of longer scraps and I'm just going to kind of work them on here and kind of arrange them in some kind of, I don't know, order. I saw this idea on like Pinterest. They did this with like a, um, with a, a birthday card and I think it looked so cute. This piece I'll put here. You just need to have like kind of, you know, some kind of good scraps. Just trying to go through mine. All right, I mean, this looks pretty decent. Not too bad. All right, I'm going to try and start gluing some of these down. And that's all you kind of do with this card. So this one I'm actually going to put on the very corner here. Nope, that needs to be longer if I'm gonna do that. Okay, then I'm gonna glue this one. And this is a great way to use up like different kind of sized strips that you might have. Nope, messed up already because I need this piece to be able to go here. Isn't this turning out super cute already? Kind of like this one here now though.
Oh, I have this side too. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking like the plaid on the other side, but I forgot. This is two sides. Um, now maybe we are gonna go with, no, I don't. Nope, we're going with this side now. I like that kind of dark blue. This one will do this way. I do like the watermelon a lot, but I have other watermelon scraps that I guess we could use for the watermelon part. I just feel like on this card right now, these might go better. All right, so yes, this did stick to, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean that now. Um, but anyway, you guys kind of get the idea, right? Like now you put this on here and now you kind of need to do a bunch of cutting around this. We're done with those scrappies. I can't believe I have to clean my paper trim trimmer afterwards, but look how cute this turned out, okay? Like that is stinking cute. And now what you can do is put this down onto that blue. Ah, it is very cute, guys. Oh my goodness, super duper cute. So I'm going to Use my ATG tape. And we got to use up a lot of our scraps, this little strips. And this is another uh, landscape style card. Okay, and looks like I need a little bit more glue here. All right, and now I'm gonna put this down onto a white card base. way because wait no my bathing suit it goes all different directions but I think this actually should be this way okay 
So, no, I, yeah, I think it has to be this way. All right, so I'm gonna put this down onto that white card base. Okay, and now we need some kind of a sticker, which I was thinking this beautiful, um, you know, this uh, little bathing suit. And I'm trying to see what could go with this. We have a bit of sunshine. Stay away with me or swim away with me. Pool hair, don't care. Make a splash, okay. Yeah, we can we can work with this so this guy I kind of want him popped up on some dimension so I am first going to stick him down onto this white cardstock and I'm gonna fussy cut around it just in that same sticker shape Okay, so I got this little bathing suit cut out. Um, I'm kind of wondering what I can put underneath him because I, like it's, it is gonna get popped up on some foam. So that'll add a little bit of a dimension. But I'm almost wondering if I need to have like I think we're gonna add, oh actually this guy, I'm just gonna stick him down. And I have these little like foam dot kind of um, stickers, like foam circle thingies. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of these to the back of this cute little bathing suit. Just for some additional support, just to make sure this sticks on there, I'm just adding in a little drop of glue. And now this guy's going to go right here. And that's layered up on some dimension. And then I think I'm going to do make a splash down here and I'll put that onto this white cardstock with a little bit of an outline. So 
So it says make a splash and maybe we'll add in I was going to do um, this YOLO. But I don't really like where it goes anywhere. I do feel like I need a little bit something more here. I don't know. Um, this cute little lemon go. Just trying to figure this out. I'm gonna add this little pinwheel down here in the corner and I'm gonna add some foam dots to this make a splash I'm gonna take off all those paper layers I was also sewing earlier, so I have like this thread, gold thread, that I'm just gonna put behind this. And it just adds a little something, something. Okay. So then I'm going to stick this guy down right here. And this is super colorful. So I'm thinking either gold or white um, little jemmies now. And I think white it is. Maybe some kind of crystally ones. I only have these large crystally ones though. But I kind of like these two white ones. Oh, that needs to be stuck down better. Okay, so there is card number two. Make a splash, super cute. And we did a lot of uh, paper piecing here. So we've got these two cards so far and they're turning out so cute. All right, so we got those and moving on to 
card number three. Um, okay, we got another card base here. And let's see what we can make. I do want to use this watermelon paper. It seems that all of my um, cards today are um, landscape. <laughs> yeah, the other day when I was doing some um, other cards with some Christmas, they were all um, portrait style and today they are all landscape style. I'm just trying to think like what stickers I would want to use with this because I don't have any watermelon stickers. Um, so I'm just trying to figure this out right now. I don't have any lemon stickers either, but I do have a cherry. Let me see if I can maybe do the cherry first and put that aside. Mm. Ooh, that's pretty perfect with the exception of that. But if we flip these, I could probably put my cherry sticker right there. So let me see. This looks a little funky, right? But I can flip this also. And then maybe we could have, okay, hold on. I mean, now the cherries are kind of upside down, but now we can have this cherry sticker here, probably on some other kind of background design that I don't know yet what to put. But I think this could work. So I'm gonna cut both of these down. If this is five and uh, three eighths, then I'm gonna cut this down to five and a quarter. Right? Right. So five and a quarter. I'm going to cut down some of this, um, I had to cut down some of that lemon and actually I'm going to cut off that whole circle part. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I will add in some gold. I have some gold scraps in my stash too. Cause I kind of think that this should go this way. So we'll put this down. I could use a piece in the center here that's about half an inch by five and a quarter. So I have my gold scraps here. I need about half an inch. And to do little small things like that, sometimes it's easier to use my Fiskars paper cutter. So I'm gonna do one line bigger than half an inch by five and 
a quarter. And let's see if this fits. And he looks great. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna use some wet glue here. Okay, so where's my cherry? All right, my little cherry is right here. I know I wanna use him because he's cute. And we need something else to go with this. <laughs> I just don't know what. Um, oh, I have this little lemon sticker also. Mm, I like it. We're going to stick this one down all the way. Let me de-stick that one. So sometimes I put them onto cardstock. Sometimes just use like this little embossing tool, which has um, baby powder in it. And it de-sticks it. I find that this one doesn't work as good as the other one, uh, which is kind of like a little square, but it de-sticks de -sticks it enough. And now I'm gonna add some of these little foam dots to the back of this. And we're gonna pop this guy up on some dimension okay so now I'm gonna take my glue, put a dot of glue onto all those foam dots. <gasps> oh, I should have put um, this onto my white card base first. Oh, well, um, can't do that anymore. But now we can add some kind of a sentiment sticker. So I have Summer of Love. I think we will do this one. And I think I want him on some white cardstock. And I'm going to cut him out with a little bit of a border. I like that there, but I don't like how it's kind of the same height as the lemon. Um, and I don't really know what else to add there. I mean, I have this other lemon, but this is kind of more green. but I have this cute little flower. All 
right, I'm gonna like wiggle that flower in there. And now I'm gonna add <laughs> this guy. And maybe he wants some dimension too. I don't know what's with me and some dimension today, but today I'm doing all the dimension. And it's not like a lot of dimension um, because these aren't super duper like thick foam dots, but they do add some dimension. I really should have uh, put that down onto a card base first, but let's try and do that now. It's just like it's a lot harder to get the ATG tape on here if this is not flat, but let's go for it and let's try. All right, that wasn't too bad. Definitely thought that was going to be worse than it actually was. And so now I'm gluing this down onto this white card base. And now we can add some enamel dots. And I think I'm thinking red again. And glue comes off on this like foil paper. You just kind of have to like let it dry. I have to let that dry first before I could take that glue off. Um, but that looks good. Let's add one up here. I made that dot a little too high. But again, the glue comes off on foil paper. So I will take that off later. And I'm going to add another dot here. All right, and those are my red enamel dots all done for like that little piece that I had left. And there we go. We got another cute little card base. So when that dries, I will go back and take off that glue, but that looks cute also. All right. Let's go on card number four. See what else we can make here. Um, all right, back to this watermelon paper that I still don't know what to do with, but <laughs> I want to use it so bad. Um, okay, maybe let's add some green in here. little campers. I feel like this might need a bigger kind of uh, sentiment or not even like a sentiment but like a bigger sticker and I, I feel like I want this sideways since I'm making all my cards landscape I feel like this one should be a landscape too we can work with this we could do make these um, five and a quarter I'm gonna cut off that little circle at the top and then I'll make this one five and a quarter also and cut off that little circle. And we still need to cut off a little bit more from the screen. Just like another sliver. Okay. 
So I'm gonna glue that down. And this is kind of what I do. I glue things down and then I just kind of figure it out. <laughs> Isn't that what, that's what life is all about? You're constantly just figuring things out. So why would it be, oh my goodness, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh no. You were doing so good. All right, you're still good. is starting to not be nice to me but hopefully we can still finish this okay so that's all we got here I will stick this down onto the card base before I forget my card base and which way do I want this to go this way or this way let's go with this way Okay, I did realize I have this little teeny uh, watermelon sticker so we can use him. But before I do that, we still need something else on this card. So let's try and see what we could do here. I feel like this little grill no no grill maybe this little picnic basket how about this chair but it's just like i i don't even know how to put down the watermelon then um Let me see this. Do I have any sentiments I can use? No, like where, where are all the large sentiments when you need them? <laughs> oh, I have this one. Soaking up the sun. I guess we could use that one. With this little watermelon. All right, I'm gonna add some dimension to the back of this guy after I kind of try to destick it a little bit. This is probably gonna be my least favorite card 
of them all. But it's fine. Oh, oh yeah, I did stick it down onto a card base. I was going to say, we didn't stick it down to a card base, but yeah, I'm looking at it. I did. Okay. So I took off all the little adhesive things, put some glue on there, soaking up the sun. This needs something a little, a little more love. Um, I mean, like I can add just enamel dots, but I don't know. Um, kind of thinking if this guy would go here. Is it too random? It's just a little like, um, It's a little random, but um, let's see what else we could add there. Little sunglasses and then tie in some of that yellow. And we'll put this thing that says SPF 50. Uh, nope, I want him on some dark blue cardstock. He's so hard to read. He's so bright. And now I feel like I need these sunglasses on some foam. So we will do that next. Or you know what? We could put him. Yeah, let's put this guy here a little lower. And I'm going to add some foam to this guy. I didn't destigmatize him, so he's a little sticky. But I think he'll live. How are you guys liking um, me just kind of making up cards as I go? All right. So there we go. We got ourselves another card. Let's just add in some enamel dots. I am thinking some white again. So I did add some enamel dots. Um, my phone cut out because I was getting a scam call. So it stopped filming. Um, but all I did was just add in some red enamel dots here. And that is card number four. And like I said, this is my least favorite, but hey, can't love them all. But here is the four cards that we made. And overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out and we got to use up some scraps. I think I just want to be done now at this point, you know, like sometimes you just like, you're really stretching it. Well, I'm at that point of really stretching it. Um, oh no, I still have this, this piece right here. Uh, 
I guess we're gonna keep going. Let's use this other camper because I don't, yeah. All right, we're gonna keep going because I can't have a full size sheet of paper. So I'm gonna cut this guy down to, I think it's supposed to be four by five and a quarter. So I have another blue card base. Okay, four by five and a quarter. And we gotta figure this out. So I have this piece here. Uh, I don't know if I love, like that's just, that cloud is too realistic for me. I feel like it doesn't go with this collection but it might be all I have. Oh, wait, I got this strip here and I got this. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. Yep, yep. Um, I like that with the blue and that stripe on top of that. Even that one's nice, but I like the stripe. All right, so I'm going to cut this down to, um, was it five and a quarter? I'm going to cut off the circle and then I'm going to mat him onto here. So I'm going to cut this to five and three eighths. We will stick him down. It's so hard to cut off these little strips with the guillotine, so I'm just going to go in with my Fiskars, and I didn't do a good job, and now I'm going to have to trim it anyway. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? I knew that was going to happen, too. Okay, let me stick this down. I know this video is super long, guys. I hope you guys don't mind the length of the video. A lot of you guys always say you guys like my longer videos, so I'm, I'm really hoping you guys don't mind. I, like, I know it's not an album and it's like cards, but... I hope you guys like it. All right, so let me put this down. I really just hate wasting scraps and I feel like I can't even write it off on my list until I use my scraps. So put this in the middle just like that I'm gonna attach this to the white card base made six card bases so now since I'm already on the fifth card now I might as well figure out a sixth one okay so we got that guy here um oh I kind of like these pin oh how stinking cute is that and I was going to add this here but I think that looks nice just like that. Now, what I am gonna do with this one, I feel like it does need a little bit of an outline. So I'm going to put this on here 
and I'm going to cut around it, leaving some of, <clears throat> sorry, losing my voice. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? <clears throat> um, I am gonna leave some of this blue outline here. Should have brought a drink up with me, my, some of my tea. I have some iced tea that I had um, made in the fridge. I could have brought up my coconut water, something, but who knew that I was gonna be sitting here making a bunch of cards because I didn't know. This is not why I came up to my craft room. I came up to finish an album and somehow here I am making cards. But you know what? When the inspiration strikes, you gotta roll with it because my inspiration doesn't strike 10 months out of the year when I am working as a teacher. Um, so my inspiration doesn't strike then. So now that it's summer and my inspiration strikes here and there, I gotta roll with it. Okay, so I'm just fussy cutting around this guy. And guys, if you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely hate fussy cutting. But yet when it comes to making these cards, I'm always fussy cutting. I just think they look better that way. So here I am, fussy cutting. Okay, yep, that looks so stinking cute. Maybe we could even put him here on this side. I feel like I did a lot on the left before and I really like that bright spot right there. Um, oh, we have that larger scrap now too. Okay, anyway, I am going to add some layers because this needs some layers down here at the bottom, like some scrap card stock. And we also need some at the top. just to kind of even out those layers. Okay, so now I'm gonna add glue here. Doesn't it make you so happy when you get to use up um, the stickers too? It's just, it's so great. Um, okay, so now I need some kind of a sentiment got happy place which or sees the day that one goes I think I like that one sees the day I kind of been thinking to put him on some white though I will probably regret this and not like it on the white but we got to try it. Mm, it 
it's not bad. Okay. Um, I want him on some foam. I really don't know what's with me and all this foam today, but we're just going to keep going with it. How many times did I say that in this video? Just go with it. Just keep going with it. Just roll with it. <laughs> said it a million and one times in this video. And sorry, I just hit my camera with my head. Okay, so we're going to put this guy right here. I wonder if I have like a little flower sticker, which can maybe go under here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like it. Um, and then I feel like this needs some red enamel dots too. I really like the red for some reason. It seems to be a trend with these cards. I'm gonna put this guy underneath there. So that is card number five. Okay, let's make one more, guys. Um, so, next card. And I gotta hurry up because I don't have a lot of battery left on my phone either. But we haven't used this yet. Um, oh, there's some simple red. We got more of that, and that that does kind of go together. Hmm. I don't know, should we do like a little bicycle on this one? I think I'm gonna put this pattern on top, so I'm gonna cut this at five and a quarter. Cut the little circle off. This one's going to go on top here. And then this one at five and a quarter. Cut the little circle off. And this one's going to go down here. And I just need to cut him a little teeny sliver more, which is always the hardest part. Nope. Yep. Let's glue this down. And all right, now this one. You need to work for me for this last card, please. I 
really don't know how to properly use one of these things, but I really love it for card making. <laughs> but at some point, it just stops liking me. It happens every time. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna glue this down to my card base. Or should I say tape down to my card base? Because I guess this is a tape roller. All right, here's my card base. Sorry if you guys are shaking a little bit. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, we got this large camper. We got this blue camper. We also got this little tent thing. We got this grill. And what are we going to use? I don't know. Oh, I was kind of thinking this little bicycle. He's not so little, is he? <laughs> Let's put him back. I don't think he's, he's going to work here. Um, this grill, I think, looks good, even though I don't have any grill stickers to go with it, but I have this yellow thing here, and I think it'll just look nice as like a little background to this. We're just going to stick it down. Okay. We're just, we're rolling with it. Um, and there you go. I said it again. <laughs> um, I think we can use the sentiment that says good times. I think he looks good. And maybe with this larger pinwheel. Or maybe that pinwheel can go behind this guy. I'm going to put him here. And then I'm going to get this guy onto some blue cardstock. All right, and then I'm gonna use some, I think, again, red enamel dots. Seems to be a great theme. And another not so favorite, but 
it is what it is guys and actually maybe um, we can add another sticker here so this one says stay cool let's also put him onto some blue So there we go guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six cards that we just finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super intense and long process video. I'm happy with um, that we were able to use up some more stickers from these sticker sheets. I'm happy I was able to use up the scraps this is all I have left here on the side here. Um, so not much anymore. And we used up a lot. So I'm very happy with um, how that all turned out. Even though I don't love all the cards with m most of them, I'm very happy with them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, these cards will be listed in my Etsy shop. In case you guys are interested, there'll probably be a set of three. So I'll figure that out. Um, and that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. Happy crafting. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.